October is National Bullying Prevention Month, and we've been bringing you several stories on efforts to stop the dangerous and sometimes deadly bullying. Jennifer Smith is here now with a follow up on a nine year old West Sacramento boy who was bullied in school. Jen? Well, Dale, sadly, the issue of bullying has made big headlines, some young people even ending their own lives to escape the torment. Well, teaching kids how to deal with a bully at a young age will give them the tools and confidence to face up to bullies, and that's what Willie Barnett is learning. Run! Run to me! Run! We first met Willie back in March, finding it tough to stay composed over what happened at school. I got shoved down to the ground, choked by my sweater. I got accused of being bad words and kicked and punched. E -E. E -E. E -E. Watching that day was then martial arts teacher Mike Oliver. G saw Willie's story on Channel 10, and I was actually kind of moved by it. I was bullied as a kid also, um, experienced some similar things, and I wanted to make sure that kids like him, and, and all kids really, have the tools that they need to deal with bullies. Mike offered Willie a scholarship, and Willie's world has changed. His confidence level just shot through the roof. Here, the kids are learning more than the physical. They're also taught nonviolent verbal judo or word blocks. So if somebody calls them stupid, we, they might say, are you offering to tutor me? Right? Just something to kind of deflect and, and move the situation somewhere else. His mom says Willie has already used his new skills. This completely changed him, his self-confidence, even his academics. Are, he's just not so worried about being hurt or bullied. And now Willie has advice for other kids who may get picked on. Just stay cool-headed. Yeah, he's learned how to stay cool-headed. He says, keep your cool. Willie's mom says moving him to a smaller charter school has also made a big difference for him. She believes schools need to do more to stop bullying when it's reported. We want to thank Mike Oliver for watching the story here on News 10 and then contacting me to help out Willie. You can send us your story ideas as well by clicking on the Send It button on News10.net. Dale? Great follow-up, Jen. Thanks. And tomorrow on News 10 Good Morning, we want to know what's been your experience with bullies, either personally or maybe with a loved one. Email us at goodmorning at news10.net. You can also find us on Facebook, and then we'll have your responses when you do a little verbo judo <laughs> with uh, Dan and Kiba <laughs> on News 10 Good Morning.